Hi everyone, welcome to TommyAnn.net. Um, I'm about to do a time lapse on this uh, 330 engine that I've been taking apart at the shop or restoring. It would be kind of neat to, to show you this this uh, engine come apart. I, I washed it a couple months ago. It still needs a still needs a little bit more cleaning, but I think it's gonna be easier to just take it apart. Um, so uh, get ready. So the first step is to take the valve covers off, which um, just is a bunch of acorn nuts and to uh, loosen them all up. The next step is to just try to get a uh, real thin blade in between the valve cover and the head and just kind of start it and uh, pop them off. From there, it's time to work on the timing chest. The timing chest holds the chain, water pump, oil pump, those kind of things, and um, is really held on by about, I think, six nuts. But there's a couple of other things that have to come off, which is uh, the timing chain sprockets on the top, and uh, those need to come off. And also, um, obviously, the lower pulley, and uh, also the oil pan, because the oil pan is also bolted to the uh, timing chest. Every time I do one of these things, I always forget uh, one thing or another. So the uh, trick is to just go slow and uh, look at what I'm taking apart just to make sure I didn't forget something because there's always something there that uh, I might forget. All right, well, I got the oil pan off and uh, that's a lot of sludge. So obviously it's all gonna clean out, but that's one of the reasons why I always, whenever I watch these shows that start a car up, that has been sitting forever and, you know, they said, oh, just put some new fresh oil in it and run it. This is what can happen when a car sits for a long time. The oil just sits in the bottom of the pan and then where the pickup is, it's just gonna suck that all up and push that through the rest of the engine. So uh, yeah, good thing, took it apart. Gonna clean it. Basically all that's left is to take off the bottom oil pan uh, assembly just so that I can get to the rest of the engine inside. This engine looks pretty, uh, pretty filthy on the inside. I mean, it's pretty filthy on the outside too. But uh, it's uh, it's it's pretty pretty dirty. I mean, not a lot of stuff in the oil pickup. But uh, the main reason why the bottom pan has to come off first on these Ferraris is that in order to take the timing chest off, which is the timing chain and water pump and all that other good stuff, is that this hose is the oil pickup hose, and that connects it to the oil pump which is on the front timing chest. So that has to come off before that, the rest of it can slide off. I also have a problem here. I'm gonna get a nut or a, uh, a wrench to take that big nut off because there's a hidden securing nut that holds the uh, oil, oil filter assembly. And then that kind of blocks the water pump from coming out. So it's a couple little things that come off, but I can actually, slide the whole timing chest off once I get this oil oil um, pickup soft hose disconnected, cut off. So that's next. After cutting the safety wire off and uh, removing the hose clamp to that soft hose, just carefully started working that timing chest off. Even with all the bolts off, just had to be careful that nothing uh, cracked or was forced to, but eventually it came off. With the timing chest off, it was time for me to move on to the top of the engine and start removing all the rocker stands that hold the adjusters and uh, roller followers. So there's just a bunch of nuts uh, that just need to be taken off and uh, removed. Uh, pretty dirty stuff, but uh, we'll get all that stuff cleaned up uh, when uh, it all goes into the wash tank. These Ferrari heads are 
notorious for getting stuck. What ends up happening is uh, the studs where you can see where I took the bolt, the nuts off, um, water tends to get down in there, through, be, you know, weak between the head gasket and the stud. And what it does is it, it creates electrolysis and locks the head in place because it's a steel stud on an aluminum block. So what ends up happening is the, the heads are pretty well stuck and um, you need to put a fixture plate on it and uh, slowly start taking it apart. I'm gonna spray it down tonight, uh, put some penetrating oil in there, and hopefully it'll break loose some of the, some of the electrolysis that's happening inside and, um, and see where it goes from there. But uh, that's, that's kind of as far as I can get today. Uh, one of the rockers, one of the rockers was stuck um, and um, part of it is probably from all the dirt and debris. I mean, you can see this dirt just locks some stuff in place. So it really kind of struggled to get it off, but it came off and, uh, you know, we're just moving forward on this thing. So uh, let's see what happens once we get the head, the, uh, the head puller installed. Well, there you have it. One head is off. So you can see where the electrolysis kind of happens. The head gasket, the water passage is here, and then it kind of saturates the head gasket. And then eventually what happens is because of the dissimilar metals, the, um, the moisture locks the, the head stud in place. So this one was definitely locked and I could feel it as I was tightening the uh, the, the uh, nut and trying to drive it out. It, it was definitely tighter on this side to move. You know, you just gotta be really careful because you know, if you, you know, you have to feel, it's it's kind of like a feel that you you do when you, when you crank on these things to push against the head stud because some of them will come and feel like they're moving and then others and you just gotta measure it as you're, as you're moving it. I mean, it looks like, uh, watching uh, watching paint dry, but it, you know, it moves so slowly, but you, you just gotta measure it all the way and and uh, be really careful about about making sure that the head's coming off evenly. So I got one off and uh, we're on to the next one. So uh, here we go. The second head basically was the same as the first head by attaching the fixture plate and slowly working the nuts to force the head off slowly. It was just as corroded as the first one, but it eventually came off. With both heads off, it's ready to move on to the next step. Thanks for watching.